morning everyone it is a beautiful morning in the country of Dominica and we are on the northeastern part of the island in somewhere between um, Wesley and Marigat I'm not gonna say which village it is because we know that Wesley claims this area and so does Marigat so I'm not gonna be a part of this but we are in what is known as Cabana some of you would remember some time ago we did two videos first we did the video showing how the place was um, filled with garbage then we did a video when the cleanup process started and today I am so excited I know you can hear it in my voice when I first came here I was very pleased as to the work that has been done so far and this is the river area you can see the beautiful clear water this morning beautiful beautiful clear water so this is the cabana beach many of you from the area know that you grew up on this beach partied on this beach and then you were so discouraged to see how it had come and thankfully we had some persons from the states on the second video you could you could hear Miss um, Athena Benjamin explaining how they came together and decided to clean up the beach and restore it to what they remember it as kids. And so this morning we are doing an update for you, just letting you see that this place is open once again for your picnics and for your parties. It's just a lovely atmosphere here. And so you can go back to look at the first video to see what it used to be and then follow the story of the Cabana Beach cleanup. And here we have some of the persons who were instrumental in this cleanup and we are so happy that they are here this morning to enjoy the fruit of their labor. Hi, Miss St. John. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Good and morning. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. So, can you just remind us as to how this project came to your mind? Oh, okay. It, it was actually a trip we took in um, Mexico in January of this year. It was our brother's 60th birthday party. And the area that we were at the resort, it reminded us of Cabana. So, like, persons what that was there decided, you know, like, why don't we do a cleanup campaign for Cabana? And, you know, everybody started shipping a little money here and there. And we actually had the first um, heavy cleanup after that. And so by then, we started to call Western persons all over the diaspora if they could contribute whatever they had to help to finalize the, the major cleanup. We still have a long way to go. But um, as we are here today, we're seeing, you know, some of the work that we've done. And tell me how do you feel about what you see? I am so, so impressed because this was a place that I used to come as a little girl. And coming home, like my mom, we used to be having a picnic here. We especially the Methodist church and the, the Catholic church used to have. Everything used to happen in Cabana. And for how, when a couple years ago I came here and I saw how Cabana was, I was like, whoa, that, that was very bad. So doing this is like we give it back to the community and, you know, we would like to see more of the community people on ground get more involved in, you know, trying to help to bring up back Cabana alive because it's a huge space. I went, after this cleanup, I, was, I never expected the place was so big. And just where the, the, the excavator is at the moment, all of that area was completely covered with garbage. Completely, completely covered with garbage. I will take you on a little walk a while ago. And are you going to plant flowers in these yes. um, tires? Most definitely. We have to do the beautification project here. And, you know, plant some more trees and make it really pretty. So 
like people from all over the island to come here and have their family picnics, you know. And do you, a, and, and do you imagine putting up any structures and so on? Oh yes, we have planned to put some gazebos on, on alongside the beaches, and we want to put up a, a, like a big pavilion, you know, so we can have the family functions and stuff like that, and a washroom facility. So that's the plan. So we ask him, you know, people to help contribute, you know. Now, can you just tell us who they can reach out to to make this contribution? Um, we have the, there's a senior Benjamin. There's a group here in Wesley. And can we find her? We can find her on Facebook. Yes, you can find her on okay. Facebook. Um, there is and we have the North American group. And come and give your your phone number. I I don't have the number. It's the the Wesley um, group in Cabana for, um, for Cabana. It's Wesley Cabana Beach and Waterfront. In the, in the states yes it's already registered okay let me get it again wesley wesley cabana wesley cabana, cabana beach and waterfront cabana, cabana. no wait, sorry no wesley cabana beach and waterfront oh, cabana beach and waterfront okay. yes so cabana beach and waterfront so where can we where can they find information about this group is there a social media page yeah facebook okay yes so cabana beach and waterfront on yeah. facebook yes okay Okay, let's see what you give her a telephone number, no? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah give the telephone okay. number. So now I give her the give the telephone number. My telephone number is And that's Anne Louise, yes. Okay, the telephone number? 732 One second, I'm gonna put it in the in the chat one time. Revelin and John at six four seven seven zero zero seven zero 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 one three seven. you are joining i noticed my numbers have gone up those of you are just joining we are just here giving you an update of the cleanup campaign of cabana and we are also giving you some numbers that you can contact if you'd like to make a contribution if you listen from the top you will hear miss st john talk about all the plans that they have to restore cabana to what it needs to be to what it used to be and even better than what it used to be. Definitely. So give me your number once more again, 647 700 And we always encourage you to share the information because we know that mouth to mouth is one of the best ways yes. to get information across. So we want you to tell your neighbor, tell your friend, tell your auntie child that good things are happening for Cabana. We have persons in Dominica and the diaspora wishing to restore this beach and to make it even better than what it used to be. For those of you who have been following the lives on Cabana Beach, all this area here in front of you, you will remember it was packed with garbage. We had a few signs, a few no dumping signs there. That's what the, um, the Solid Waste Corporation tried to do, but people were just ignoring that. However, they brought in heavy equipment and they cleaned the area out. And you can just imagine how we feel here this morning to see how amazing this transformation is. So persons can already come and picnic here. I, I saw they had a, a beach party here some yes, time ago. Yes. Some time ago they yes. had a beach party here. They had the high fi and everything. And that but, was when the beach wasn't even close to like this, you know? And the good thing, like you said, is it is so wide, so yes. you can have multiple functions going definitely, on. Definitely, definitely. So again, for those of you just joining, some of the plans that they have is to put some gazebos along, along this side, area, along this part of the beach, and, and also put washroom uh, facilities, washroom facilities, and a and, and a and a, and a um, pavilion, pavilion, so where people could have entertainment and um, so probably could have your wedding, oh, definitely, your wedding ceremony, wedding ceremony your right there, reception. Sounds like a good plan. 
and again we have contact numbers in the chat but there's a few in the USA there's a few in Canada we have various numbers in the chat there's a few in Dominica you can talk, contact Miss Athena Benjamin you can contact the West Virginia Council I would imagine yes of course. Ron Phillip also. and just let them know that this is what you want to make your contribution to what yes. again like someone said in the chat this is what happens when we work together so we That's just want to encourage you to come on I board and assist the efforts here I, I want, also want to thank um, those persons that I have contacted and made a huge contribution to have this done so far. We're still going to reach out to more persons in the diaspora and people on the ground. Maybe if you don't have financial contribution, you could come and maybe assist and help to fine tune the area because there is still some little stuff that can be done with, without like the heavy equipment, like hands on ground. And, um, People who want to assist to help to put up the gazebo. If somebody wanted some a group of family want to build a gazebo in the in the honor of the family, they are welcome to do that also. So we want to make Cabana a place where we can be proud of as diasporas, as people in the community. It's all a community effort. So that is how it's going so far. So once again just have a look at this area and I just want to remind you it is not hot air it's very cool the breeze is coming in very nicely it keeps the temperature yes. down and it is very cool here so right now we still have some heavy equipment here doing some more cleaning and we have these tires that are going to be used for beautification and you can see the coconut trees we haven't yes. seen the coconut trees before <laughs> You can see the lovely coconut trees. And again, so all these are persons that was in Mexico and we had the chat, you know, and they just came up from the States yesterday. So we just come and I'm all happy to see the project. And you are will be picnicking here soon, definitely, I imagine. Definitely. We just want to give you a, 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 a distance, a far distance view of the expanse of beachfront that is available here it is quite an expensive piece of property and you can imagine the opportunities that are available here and it is a marvelous job done here by the persons in the diaspora and the Dominica. Marvelous job. For those of you who want to see what it was like before, you can look for that live. And you can also look for the second live we did at when the initial cleanup began. And we are so pleased today to bring you this. Well, hopefully it will not be the final live, but to bring you the update of what it is like when the when the structures go up, we hope to come back and do maybe our final live. But yes. well, you can just imagine what it would be like having your little guys be going right there. Dominicans, 
thinking and working together. So once again, we are about to say goodbye and thanks for joining us. forward to your continued contribution.